Okay guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. I'm just gonna refactor those uh, warps. Um, I'm gonna change this a little bit up. So I'm just gonna rename the, I've deleted the uh, locations and the last position warp. I've also removed those from the map, um, from uh, both of the maps, so they're no longer there. We're gonna change the way that this works a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to object hero start. I'm just gonna call this object hero underscore reposition just like that. Now in the base underscore warp, we're going to have three variables, destination room, destination underscore x equals zero, var dest underscore y equals zero, just like that. In the home city, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a warp event, object base warp, it's not gonna be, sorry, let's change the name, we're just gonna call this object warp and I'm just gonna create one of those on this pub here. Now, if you right click on that, go to instant uh, creation code. <coughs> this is specific for this instance. So I'm just gonna say room equals, sorry, uh, uh, what did I call it? Sorry, I have to check what I called it. I can't remember what I called it. Dest room, dest X and dest Y. I'm just going to go uh, creation code. And that's going to be dest room is going to be rm underscore pub. Now the dest x, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to get rid of this, um, oh no, we need the hero reposition object. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the object, the x and y position of that, which is 640 by 576. So back in our home city, we're just going to go creation code x is 640 and destination y is 576 just like that so now in our warp object on collision with the hero we don't need to set any of this anymore we just need to say um, object underscore hero dot phy underscore position x equals dest underscore x same thing for y And I think that that should work. So let's give that a shot. No, that didn't work. Let's have a look what's wrong. Okay, so inside of the object warp collision with um, object hero, we need to say global dot, uh, let's say dest underscore x equals dest x. And then we say global dot dest y, dest underscore y equals dest y just like that. And inside of our hero reposition objects create event, we need to bring back the position is just gonna be global.dest underscore x, just like that. And same thing for y, but this time we'll just say y. Now what this means is it means that we need to have a hero reposition on every single map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it in the pub and I'm just gonna move it from this position here. We only use this to get the location, so we're just gonna drag it around to get these X and Y coordinates. But basically we're just gonna move it up into the top left corner and it's going to be something that basically exists to help move the player around in these warp in these warp situations. So in the home city, we need to add one of those as well. So I'm going to add that to top left corner here. So we just add a system it's going to be warp object hero reposition. And now what we need to do is we just need to get the X and Y of this position here outside of the pub. So if you hover your mouse over that, you'll see that it is 288X and Y is 1120. So inside of the pub, we just create a warp event like we did in the other map. Uh, system warp object warp, there it is. Right click on it and go creation code. Then we say dest underscore room equals rm home city, dest underscore x equals 288, and then dest underscore y equals 1120. So what should happen when you hit that warp inside the pub, it should drop you right here outside of the pub. Ah, so one other thing that we need to do is in our game state object under the create event initialize ivars, let's just add a global dot dest underscore x equals zero and a global dot dest underscore y equals zero. 
I think this may move us to the top left corner of the map, and if it does, which it has, we need to set that variable to be the starting position of our player. So what I'll do is I'll just take down that position that we're currently at. So the hero is currently at 2881184. So in our game state, that's going to be our starting position, which will be 2881104, I think it was. We'll just double check that. 1184. So what happens is the room gets created, the hero reposition event moves us to that position, and then when we touch the warp event, we set a new position, the reposition object will reposition us when we're in the next room, which it has, and when we leave this room, oh, we're still getting put back inside of the, um, inside of the pub, so we need to fix that. So inside of the pub, we need to check the creation event, sorry, the creation code, RM home city, that's correct. So what's going on here, dest underscore room is negative one. Ah, we need to put an event inherited in here, I think. Let me just double check the code from the home city. Yep, so we'll copy that and we'll move that to our pubs version. And this time we'll just oops, we'll just change those variables over. So it's RM home city 288-1120. No, nope, that's still taking us back into the pub. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's just give that a shot. I think what might have been what might have been happening is we might have been hitting the collision again on the other. Yeah, that's definitely that must have been what was happening. So we were hitting the collision event inside of the second map. So we need to adjust this slightly. Uh, we do seem to be appearing a little bit higher than we were. So let's take the this position here. Let's just adjust these variables a little bit and get that so that it works a little bit better. Um, so currently 288 is one pixel to the left. Ah, uh, because our hero is centered, so we need to move that to be 288 plus 16, which will make it 306, I think. 303, so whatever 288 is. 288 plus 16 is going to be 304. So first thing we need to do in our pub, and like I said guys, this is a trial and error process, so we're just gonna have to deal with it um, and you know work as best as we can in this situation. So it's gonna be 304 is going to be our X position, which moves us over slightly to the right. So as we come out of the building, we come out into the door. There we go. We may even wanna move the hero up slightly. We could probably go up we don't want to be too close because as we get to, as soon as we hit that object, it will transport us to the next map. So we need to be cautious of that and move our hero, edit object. Oops, sorry. We edit the instance of the object. Creation code. We're going to move this up, say, 20 pixels. Now it's pixel perfect movement, so it doesn't need to be exact. Um, I mean, it doesn't need to be snapped to 32 by 32 so we should be good to move this around as we please so in the creation event for the pub on this map we're going to say the y position needs to come down a little bit more so let's make that 586 which should make it further down on the map so if we move into the warp event it should take us into the pub and if we move out of the warp event it will take us back into the pub and what's happening is we're going back onto the main map which is then immediately jumping us back into the pub which basically means that our positioning was wrong this needs to be 
11.42. Let's try that. There we go. So 11.42 seems to be pretty good. It takes us just to the outside of that door. So the positioning is a little bit harder to work out, um, but it does work quite well. So what we'll also do is we'll change this a little bit. This needs to be 16 pixels to the right when we enter the pub. So from the home city creation code, we're just going to move the X position. So 640 plus 16. So we need to get up our calculator for that. So 640 plus 16 is 656. So let's make that 656. And that should be perfectly in the center. There we go. So now we're definitely in the center of that. So this is a little bit of um, extra work to get this to work, um, to get our warps to work correctly. But it's much easier, I think, than the previous system that I showed you guys in the last video. So it's all about playing with those numbers and just getting those offsets to be right. But now we can actually transition between two maps and our game state remains the same. So all of our variables will continue to function as they should. So thank you guys for watching. I've been RM2K Dev, also known as Ryan. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.